Hi guys, Black Dot on Crypto here, and I'm going to give you a rundown on your first team of starter axes. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick yourself up a plant tank. So the, so the cards that I go with are Watering Can, Sirius, Cactus, and Hot Butt. Now, if you're going to do this, I would get myself a 6 Pureness one. Right now, there's one that's actually really cheap at 0.2. So this is a perfect starter one. And the reason why is because it has 61 health. So what Watering Can does is if you're attacked by an Aqua card, you will gain one energy. So this is perfect in the meta right now, where a lot of people use double Aqua teams. Serious, if comboed with another card, you'll steal one energy. Cactus is great because it's just a high damage card. And then hot butt, it disables your opponent's mouth card. Instead of going with these cards, you can switch out watering can for pumpkin. Pumpkin is another great choice because it gives you high, high defense. And then if they don't break your shield, you draw a card. If you don't go with that, you can switch out cactus here. Relief bug. What leaf bug does is if it's comboed with a plant card, you gain one energy. So that's great. And it also costs zero energy itself. So it's a perfect card. And then there's one more switch up I would do. I always would keep serious, but if you want to switch out hot butt, you can switch out hot butt or carrot. And what Carrot does is if they break the shield, then um, you'll gain an energy. So there's a bunch of different energy combo cards you can go together. If I was going to go with this, like this setup right here, I would go with Sirius, ca uh, Carrot, Cactus, and switch this out for Watering Can because you don't want super high um, defense if you want them to break it. So that's your basic for your tank. Next, we're going to cover the double Aqua. So... First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your midliner. The thing you want on your midliner is Sponge and Nemo. The other cards, you just want to be high DPS. So let's check this one here. So you never want double double defense. So this is actually a bad card. This is bad because you don't want Teal Shell because it gives you extra defense. I'm going to go into 6 Pyrrhus and see what we have. So Teal Shell again, so this is a bad choice. Risky Fish is really good though, because it gives you extra speed. Let me see about this one. Risky Fish, Babylonia. This one's pretty perfect actually. This one's great. The only thing I would say is you want 110 DPS. So if you can find something with 110 damage instead of this, have a little bit more damage, it'd be better. This is extra shield you don't really need, but it's still, this is a pretty good one. And for its price, you can't, you're not really going wrong. Let me see if there's any other good ones here. So I'm going to tell you what's wrong with this one. You never wanted to have a single Nemo. This is really bad if it has a single Nemo. What it does is it heals itself, but it's not good. You only want, you'd ever, you would want a double Nemo, and you'd want it to be a tank. So you want it to be a frontline tank, but this is not a good choice. This one looks pretty good. It's really expensive. So this one's also a good choice. Risky Fish. And Orconda. This is a great card. Because this is a, a finisher. Alright, so next we're going to go into your Aqua, your Aqua Backliner. So for your Aqua Backliner, you want the card Koi. And Blue Moon. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this one's actually really good. And it's cheap right now. This price is pretty good for it. I would pick this up. So you have Blue Moon, which is a range card. You also have uh, the Hero's Bane, which is another range card. You have Risky Fish and Koi. And the reason you want Koi is because it gives you speed. So when you combo it with another Aqua card, you get speed. This is also great because you can combo these two. 
if you hit another plant or reptile and then maybe you you kill their um you kill their plant and then you can actually outspeed their um their aqua itself or their bird the reason you want koi is because if you apply one koi with any of these other cards you can outspeed the bird next we're going to cover an alternate team if you don't want to go with the double aqua so instead you can go with beast and bird so first we're going to cover the beast so the first two cards i would get is ronin and imp and then there's also nutcracker and nutcracker this is an easy combination and this one's commonly ran it's just high dps And then from here, what I would do is I would make sure it's at least 44 speed so you can outspeed the other ones. This thing is being annoying right now. I'm just going to go with 45 speed, I guess. So I'm going to show it to you with 45 speed. So the reason you want it to have over 40... So the basic one, if it's a pure one, is going to have 43 speed. But if you go with one that has 45 speed, you're going to outspeed your opponents. And you, if you're going to face the exact same combination as you, exact same team, where they're running Beast and Bird, this is perfect because you're going to want to outspeed their Beast. But the reason you want Ronin is because whenever you crit, whenever you, it's comboed with two other cards, it's a guaranteed critical strike. That makes it perfect for Imp because with Imp, you gain energy whenever you critical strike. Next is Nutcracker. Whenever you have Nutcracker and you play with another Nutcracker, it does 120 damage. So these are really good high DPS cards and they're perfect for plant killing. This is a perfect plant killer. Instead of getting Nutcrackers, you can switch these out. And you can go with Hair. We're not going to go with the speed. I'm going to lower the speed. doesn't matter. This one here is actually a perfect one has Gota, which what it does is it destroys your opponent's energy. And Hair, what it does is if you outspeed your opponent, you'll draw a card. But also, instead of getting this, you can go with... Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. Gota and Rice. This is also another per perfect combination because this is like, this is your perfect steal your opponent's energy. So if you're comboing it with the plant, with the other plant, this is great because your opponents will never almost have energy and they'll be, they'll have to play around two energy mainly and you'll be able to steal their energy and stay way ahead of them. So this is another great, great combination for it. Next, we're going to look at the beast. So for the, for the, uh, sorry, the bird, I mean, for the bird, you want to have double talk. Pigeon post, where's that? Pigeon post. And eggshell. So this is the bomber, bomber bird. It's a great, great bird to get. So the reason you want double talk is because double talk, whenever your target's asleep, you you attack through shield. So this is great for killing your opponent's plant. So you put it to sleep, and then you pigeon post, and then you eggshell, and that makes everything focus on it. So this is a great high DPS version. You do not want this cotton tail on it. So your last card is pretty much up to you to choose. Here's a not bad one. This one has Koi, so this is high DPS. And then you'll also be able to outspeed your opponent's bird, so this is actually a great one. There's also this one here, which is really good. The last one, this one does high damage. So what you can do is you can combo this, double talk, last one, and then eggshell, or double talk, last one, pigeon post, and eggshell. These are perfect. This is a perfect one right here. So this is if I was going to go with the bird. This is what I would get. Well, I hope this video helped you guys decide on your first team of starter axes. Now is a great time to get into the game because axes are pretty cheap. Also, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like and a comment. See you next time.